What's going on, Geminites, and happy new comic book day. Well, it's not really new comic book day because there's no comics coming out. Now, this is just a really weird week because DC Comics, uh, their distribution is just four times a month, and this is the fifth Wednesday of the month, and Marvel is going uh, bi-weekly, so this is an off week for Marvel. So I didn't read any new titles this week. I thought, hey, what better time to do a top 10 best ongoing comics that are out right now? This was a lot harder than expected, and I think the main reason is because so many great series these days are mini-series or maxi-series. They're not ongoing, so I couldn't name any Hill House comic stuff. There's so much DC Black Label stuff that I love that, like I said, is only a, a limited run, like uh, uh, The Joker's Smile, Batman the Smile Killer, I mean, Curse of the White Knight, it goes on and on. Everything is like mini-series these days. So it was a little struggle to find 10 titles that I'm reading that I feel are the best ongoing ones right now. Before we get started, if you guys want to buy any of these Omnibus or Absolute Editions that you see behind me, check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. They sell them up to 50% off retail price, immaculate, quick shipping, uh, great customer service, and they have a bargain bin where you can get up to 90% off. Also, if you mention Gem Mint at checkout, your second order will have free shipping. So check out CheapGraphicNovels.com. Let's go ahead and jump into this list. It's in no particular order, and we're not going to have any spoilers. I'm happy to say that we do have Batman on the list. We have Batman's uh, current ongoing, which is now being written by James Tiny in the Fourth, and they've been doing a lot of exciting stuff. I know you've heard of the punchline hype. I know you've heard of the designer hype, but the story is interesting, and it's really a must-needed story arc for Batman, who's coming off of a not-so-strong run. Batman's currently ongoing. It is on issue 92, and I definitely recommend picking this up. You just need to go back a few issues to get caught up. I think it started at 89 or 90. Next up, we got Donny Cates on the Venom run. Donny Cates really came through and invigorated Venom. He gave a lot of depth to Eddie Brock. He created a whole new lore for not only the symbiotes, but the Marvel Universe with the whole Null, the symbiote God thing. So a lot of exciting stuff happening in Venom. He, we did just come out of a few events. I think he had War of the Realms happen during this. We had Absolute Carnage happen. Uh, I think there was another one. We just came off of a story arc, Venom Island, and it's kind of a good jumping on point. If you want to get caught up, there's trades and there's an oversized hardcover. I recommend to at least start from the beginning on issue one because Donny Cates does a lot of great stuff in the first arc. It gets bogged down a little bit with tie-ins, but it seems like we're picking back up now, and I'm definitely digging uh, Donny Cates' Venom. Plus, he's got classic Venom artists and Spider-Man artist Mark Bagley doing the artwork now, so definitely an awesome team-up. But <laughs> got to give credit to Ryan Stegman. He's been killing it. I feel like I've seen so much growth in Stegman just since he started working with Donny Cates since the Absolute Carnage stuff, so his stuff's been really amazing. Back-to-back -back Donny Cates. This is the... This, this is my favorite superhero comic that's ongoing right now. This is his Thor run. It's only on issue five, and everything has been epic. Every issue has been page-turning, awesome stuff with Galactus, with the Black Winter, with Better Ray Bill, just awesome stuff. And, and Donny Cates himself has said, if you liked my Venom run, he, he you know you haven't seen anything yet. When it comes to Thor, he's got bigger and larger plans for Thor more so than Venom, and he's done a ton with Venom, so that makes me very interested. Also comes off of his uh, Silver Surfer Black run, uh, but you could jump right into Thor, man. Even if you haven't read Thor, I'm sure you could pick up the pieces and, and follow along from there. It's only five issues in, probably have a, have a trade coming out. Let's give Marvel a break here. We got James Tiny in the fourth on his own title under Image, Something is Killing the Children. This is a super fun book. It's dealing with monsters that only kids can seemingly see. But the problem is the monsters can see them too and eat them and put them all in a pile of bodies in this cave. And then there's this cool monster hunter character that's um, introduced. We're only on issue... Oh, you know what? Yeah, issue 7. And I'm sorry, this is Boom Studios. We're only on issue 7. There is a trade that just came out. Super fast-paced book. The artwork is nice, dark, and gritty. It's very uh, much like a horror-esque, but not too dark. I mean, it's kind. Of, it is kind of dark, but it still feels like... I don't know. It still feels accessible for like all types of readers. Definitely digging this book. One of my favorite indie titles right now. Now this guy, Jeff Lemire, I think right now he's one of my, my favorite writers. Him, Donny Cates, eh, maybe James Tiny and too, but definitely Jeff Lemire. Everything Jeff Lemire writes, I love, including this family tree that's on image. It's this awesome post-apocalyptic story. 
like most <laughs> image titles, right? But it has to deal with like people turning into trees and kind of reverting back to the earth. And there's whole there's this whole hive mind consciousness of tree people. And it's also very touching and family oriented on what happens when this little girl starts changing and with her father and her grandfather and, and people that want to come and abduct people that are changing into trees. So Family Tree is a dope read. It's a super quick read as well. But uh, it's definitely one of my top tens that are ongoing right now. Next up, we got Robert Kirkman on Oblivion Song. I feel like an issue of Oblivion Song has not come out in a while. And I'm reading all the image titles digitally now, so I, I'm, I'm not sure what issue it's on. But another kind of post-apocalyptic story. But this time you're dealing with like different dimensions and like a section of... I don't think it's New York City. Is it Milwaukee? It's a weird name I can't think of right now. Minnesota, maybe? Like a square block gets transposed with a square block from another dimension and there's aliens in that dimension and there's people that lived in that square block that are now been living in this other dimension for 10 years and people are trying to go back and save them it's a really interesting story i think this is worth picking up in trades getting caught up and reading it monthly uh it definitely has tv show written all over it it's fun the characters have like some inner turmoil with the brothers which is pretty cool pretty cool stuff here Let's jump back over to Marvel with Ghost Rider. This is Ed Breeson. And um, it's not one of the strongest titles out right now, but when I was looking at all the ongoings, I was like, you know what? I definitely enjoy reading Ghost Rider every time it comes out. It's one of the first books that I pick up and read. I love Johnny Blaze taking over Hell, uh, taking Mephisto's spot, and it's kind of it's kind of um, messing with him. And he's kind of turning evil. He's grown this skull, crown skull on his head, and he's kind of not acting like Johnny Blaze. He's becoming more ruthless and more devilish. And then you have Danny Ketch, who's on Earth, who is trying to... I forget what Danny's trying to do. They're trying to recruit Danny to basically check Johnny Blaze. So it's awesome to have both Ghost Riders. You know, I've always liked Johnny Blaze, but Danny Ketch was Ghost Rider when I was coming up. So it's super cool to have both of them in this run. Artwork is incredible. Awesome stuff with Mephisto. I'm digging Ghost Rider. So I didn't think it would be right to not have a Dawn of X title I mean, I, th I would have picked House of X, but again, not an ongoing series. Jonathan Hickman, I, I think I'm going to go with X-Men. Out of all the titles that are going on with Don of X, X-Force was a close one that I, I kind of wanted to choose. But the X-Men title, I like it because it's following along the foundation that he built with House of X, what's going on with Krakoa. Uh, the X-Men title focusing more around the Summers family. We're now in space. We're meeting with the Star Jammers. So a lot of interesting stuff, awesome stuff with Professor X, Apocalypse, um, and Magneto kind of uh, representing Krakoa in these like United Nations meetings and really like let strutting their stuff, man. And, and they know that they have the upper hand. So it's it's cool to see mutants united. And uh, it's just uh, fun to continue the story that started with House of X and Powers of Ten. And then we're going to jump over to Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil. Man, one of my favorite Marvel titles right now. I loved it from the jump. Uh, we interviewed Chip Zdarsky live and we got to talk about writing Daredevil and how he's such like a unique character to write because he's got this religious kind of background. He's got this ethical background as a lawyer, but he's also a vigilante. And it's very mature. I really like the kind of um, the people above the Kingpin who's the mayor right now. The people above Kingpin that are calling shots and uh, making it so that police won't go into Hell's Kitchen and just kind of causing all kinds of riots and ruckus. And man, ringing true and feeling a lot a lot more closer to home than we would like but i'm loving the artwork who's doing the artwork on this chichetto right man you know you get to play a lot with the radar stuff and the sonar powers of daredevil and, and they play with that and the paneling it, it's awesome man one of my favorite superhero runs right now probably right after um probably right after thor and then for my last book of my top 10 ongoing series uh, right now this is probably my favorite non-superhero title, I think, easily. Jeff Lemire, Gideon Falls, uh, Andrea Sorrentino on the artwork and the paneling, which is good by itself. Even if there was no dialogue in this book, it would be amazing. I love the horror aspects. I love the kind of not knowing what's going on. Is it a devil character in the background? These You have these characters that have like six degrees of separation with a... Uh, a sister with a long lost brother and a and, and a priest and and then we're dealing with like either time or dimensional jumping and it's really interesting it's so creepy you ask yourself wait a minute what the hell's going on again this is one that i plan to reread once we i don't know if we get maybe an oversized hardcover or if there's ever an end in sight it's it's on like man it must be like issue 25 or something like that right now jeff lemire 
man, don't sleep on this man. He is killing it on so many titles right now. And he's all over the place, all different publishers, man. This one from Image. So these are my top 10 ongoing series right now. I know there's some stuff, especially some um, some DC ongoing stuff that uh, I just started reading. Like Flash looks really promising. What else looks promising? <laughs> Justice League looks all right. Maybe Justice League Dark, which I'm not even reading. And I know there's some indie titles. So stuff I'm not reading from like Scouts Comics and these other titles that I'm not really familiar with. Let me know, what is your top 10 ongoing series that's going on right now? Drop that in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We are almost at 90,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much who uh, watch these videos every single day. And um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss one. I do drop them every day at 11 a.m. Eastern. But sometimes I do impromptu live shows or we do a live show on Sunday. And if you guys like this video, hit the like. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys stay minty fresh. Peace.